Hi there, welcome to this video. You want to learn to sew. I'm going to talking about some of the things you need in this video. You need a sewing machine. There are different types of sewing machines. There are electric sewing machines, there are industrial sewing machines, and there's a manual sewing machine which can also double as an electric sewing machine. Except you want to sew by hand, you need a sewing machine. I got this as a hand-me-down. It belonged to a family member. This machine is like, let me say 15 years old. My machine engineer asked me to start from manual. Like, he refused to connect it, but later I figured it out and I connected it myself. That's, that's by the way. You need scissors. You see the scissors? It's too big. This is my favorite scissors. <laughs> scissors is very important on this journey for sewing because you use it to cut clothes. You use it to loosen clothes too. You don't have to use scissors to loosen clothes. You can use a seam ripper. I lost my seam ripper. It's somewhere in my house. Scissors will do for now. You need threads. You need different colors depending on the kind of clothes you're sewing and color. This is also a big thread. You need the measuring tape. You see this thing? It's very important. Our advice when you're going to the market, get two or three. Because these things get missing in your house. You just start looking for them and you're wondering, where did my tape go? And then later you find it. So you need like two or three, just so you know where one is at least. As you also need this. I made this by myself. This was my first sewing project. It's a pin cushion. You stick pins on it. I don't know if you can see the pins. And that's my needle on it. I also use that needle to loosen clothes, like to loosen seams. <laughs> you need pins. Pin, pin cushion. And then you need needles. This is the biggest size of a needle. I have smaller ones. This is my container of needles. Another thing you need on this journey are rulers. There are different kinds of rulers. There are wooden rulers. There are glass rulers. There are plastic rulers like this. Like there are different kinds of rulers depending on the durability. There are metal rulers too. Depending on the durability, some of them are more durable than others. I have different kinds of rulers. I got it because I felt like I had a cheap bargain. I got a good bargain for it. I decided to buy it, but you don't have to buy all these rulers. This one, a long ruler, you will need. I also have a short ruler, but you need a long ruler. You need a hip curve ruler. This one is for drawing hips. Like if you're like me and your hand is not that straight, you will need this. <laughs> then you need something for armhole curve. Like my hand, like I said, doesn't draw straight lines, so or it doesn't draw good curves. I liked this. These are other rulers you can use, French curves, different things like different rulers. But you don't need, like I said, you don't need all these rulers. You just need the basics. Hip curve, something for armhole curve, and then a street ruler. A street ruler like this. You will need pencils and eraser. You need sharpeners. You're going to be drafting patterns. You're going to be drawing on paper. You need paper. Paper is very important because this is where you draft. If you don't want to use this kind of paper, you can use cardboard paper but well, i prefer this paper because it's kind of longer and i just like it. it makes me feel like i'm drafting something really important you're not going to sew your hands together you're going to be sewing fabric you need pieces of fabric if you're like me i have boxes of fabric i've been saving fabrics for like years saying one day i'm going to sew and then now i'm like what i thought you wanted to sew bring out all your fabric but it's not that easy but you need lots of fabric to walk around with, play with, and practice on, and things like that. But don't get fabric that's too costly so you don't feel bad when you ruin it. Because you will. That's about the basics. You need chalk. You see this? Thing? This is my small chalk. I have another chalk inside. Chalk for drawing on your fabric. These chalks are easily, they are clean. But if you don't have a chalk, you can use a fabric pen. I usually break them because it's easier for me to manage. Another thing I would advise. For a beginner is a zipper foot because putting a zip with a normal zipper can be tricky for a beginner so if you get a zipper foot it might make it easier for you that will be all for this video i hope this helps you on your market runs thank you so much for watching bye